Straight ahead on KMVT's News at 10, a fugitive wanted in Twin Falls has been caught in Nevada. And hazmat crews were busy this afternoon in Twin Falls. We'll tell you why. Those stories along with the rest of the day's news, weather, and sports up next on KMVT's News at 10. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to KMBT for your late news. I'm Joe Martin. And I'm Diane Dean. Topping the news in southern Idaho on this Thursday, a fugitive wanted in Twin Falls has been detained in Nevada. David Knutson was found guilty last May on charges of sexually attacking a vulnerable adult. While both were patients at the Canyon View Psychiatric and Addiction Services Facility in Twin Falls, Knutson failed to appear for his sentencing hearings on July 19th, and a half-million-dollar bench warrant for his arrest was issued by a fifth district judge. Twin Falls police and sheriff's officials say Knutson was stopped on unrelated charges in the Ely, Nevada area this week and he's now being detained in the White Pine County Jail. It's uncertain if Knutson faces additional charges in Ely or when he may be extradited to Twin Falls. Area responders work for about six hours a day attempting to decipher a spill on Poline Road near the Twin Falls Home Depot. Fire officials told KMBT at about 10.50 this morning they received multiple calls about a spill from a container that looked like a weed sprayer laying on the road. Reports said visible vapor was rising from the surface. Regional Response Hazmat Team 5 conducted a series of tests on the uh, matter. The mysterious spill turned out to be muriatic acid, a cleaning agent. Hazmat neutralized the acid with soda ash. Department cleared the area at around 5 this afternoon. All in all, a little less than two gallons total had spilled. Idaho State Police officials are investigating a one-vehicle injury accident which occurred early this morning. It happened at milepost 43.6 near the intersection of 2400 East and 4100 North. 34-year-old Rebecca Everett of Spokane, Washington was northbound on 93 when for unknown reasons she lost control of her car which drifted across the southbound lanes and off the roadway. The vehicle rolled several times and Everett was partially ejected. She was taken by air ambulance to St. Alphonsus in Boise, where she is listed in serious condition. Idaho health officials say that they're getting reports of the flu statewide, while unpredictable flu seasons often peak between this month to April. Rachel Jafoni says that there's a record number of flu vaccines available this year, an estimated 160 million doses nationwide. Well, last week we told you about St. Luke's agreement with the mustard seed clinic running out at the end of June. And the Twin Falls County Commissioners wanting to step in and bridge the gap so the mustard tree would have an agreement with the county beginning July 1st. Today the Commissioners said they were now drafting that agreement. They also approved the sublease agreement with St. Luke's. Commissioners say the mustard tree clinic is doing important work by providing health care services to low-income families and individuals in Twin Falls County. Nine-term state representative Wendy Jaquet of Ketchum says that she won't seek re-election next year. Jaquet is the House Minority Leader and is one of the most visible Democrats in the legislature. She represents Blaine, Camas, Lincoln, and Gooding counties and serves on various legislative groups, including the Joint Finance Appropriations Committee. Today in Boise, the Water Supply Committee held its first meeting of the water year. Our Benito Baeza was there and filed this report. Still ahead on KMBT's News at 10, a somber day in Tucson. We'll have more on that. And then a look at a rather unusual science road show. Stay where you are. The News at 10 will be right back. Several funerals were held for shooting victims today in Tucson, Arizona. The first service was held for nine-year-old Christina Green. As friends and families mourn her death, there is encouraging news about Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords. Candace Gibson has the latest. The director of Idaho State Police says that money in the governor's budget proposal to replace patrol vehicles is critical, given that the older cars are less reliable and can be a safety hazard. Colonel Jerry Russell told lawmakers today that his agency, which is down more than 44 percent in state funding compared to three years ago, is now replacing patrol cars only after they reach 110,000 miles. Russell says that exceeds the recommended 75,000 to 100,000 miles 
Governor C.L. Butch Otter included $1.6 million in his budget to, recommendation, to recommend to replace and equip 36 state police vehicles and one motorcycle. Russell told state budget riders the vehicles serve as a lifeline to his patrol force. Well, where would beef be without technology? That's a question Dr. Gary Sides addressed, a beef cattle nutritionist who spoke at the 2011 Intermountain Livestock Symposium. In the past, Dr. Side says it typically took one livestock producer to feed just under 20 people. Now with modern agriculture, it's more than 150. He also showed that the average life expectancy was 47 in 1900, jumping to nearly 80 in this age of technology. Now tomorrow, we'll catch up with experts on the impacts of wolves on cattle behavior and productivity. This presentation is scheduled for 8.30 at the CSI Fine Arts Auditorium. For grade school students who've never done a science fair project, just the idea of it can be absolutely terrifying. But Jay Michael says that learning how to do it ahead of time can take away most of those science fair jitters. Most magicians don't actually pull a rabbit out of their hat, it just looks that way. If you like to amaze other people with magic tricks, you're welcome to join a new magic club forming in Twin Falls. Both amateur and professional magicians are welcome to meet with each other to share their favorite stories and effects and help each other perfect their magic skills. Meetings will be held the second Tuesday evening of every month. If you'd like to join the new magic club, call Lance at 733 5767 or drop him an email. His address is lance at lancecloud.net. Okay, that's it. Okay. <coughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Where is